Hey Elliot here with the ePark Fishing Channel and today we'll be walking through how to get your own great underwater footage from the shore. I've come up with two different camera setups for underwater filming. One which uses a long pole and a unique rig which uses a sliding swivel, fishing line, and a weight. We'll be going over everything you'll need to recreate these rigs and at the end we'll look at some variations and extra tips. Filming underwater with an action camera is a great way to learn about fish and the environment they live in. It's also just fun to see what's going on down there. But it can be frustrating if you can't get your camera stable or facing the right direction. So the most straightforward way to overcome this is by using a fixed pole to aim the camera exactly where you want to film. Here's what you will need for the pole rig. Action camera inside its waterproof case. 6 to 24 foot extendable aluminum pole. Clamp mount. Extension arms two four ounce pyramid sinkers, wire, and needle nose pliers. Check out the description of this video for links to these products or to my camera comparison video. Attach your clamp mount by screwing it in until it is reasonably tight. Add extension arms. The length and number of arms will depend on how much debris and weeds you plan to deal with at your filming location. I'm using two extensions that are 8 inches and 5 inches, so the camera will be around 13 inches off of the bottom. Then you can screw in your camera above the extension arms. Cut a piece of wire and use it to attach your pyramid sinkers. You can do this by feeding the wire through the two weights and then twisting the wire on the other side to tighten it. Now you're ready to hit the bank. Extend your pole as far as needed for filming. Find a flat, unobstructed spot on the bottom for your camera to rest. Gently lower your camera down and hold the pole so the camera is level. Make sure the camera is at a 90 degree angle from the surface or adjust the extension arms to aim the camera. Keeping the camera in place, lower the handle of the pole down on the bank and find a stable spot for it to rest. This is very important because if the handle rotates, the camera will fall to one side or the other. You can also use a rod holder for this. The camera should be naturally buoyant enough with the waterproof housing to stay upright. So that's all good if you want to film within 20 feet. But what if you want to film something farther away? That's where the castable rig comes in handy. It's totally tangle free and keeps your camera pointed in one direction. Here's what you will need. Action camera inside its waterproof case. Camera bobber. Number five sliding swivel. Large barrel swivel. Two large beads. Five ounce cannonball weight. 30 pound monofilament line. And needle nose pliers. Once again, all these items are linked in the description of this video. Here's how you set it up. Push the metal clip of the sliding swivel onto the center prong of the camera bobber with the long stem pointed down. Firmly push the prongs of the waterproof case onto the camera bobber sandwiching the metal clip in the middle and screw in the connection. Using the needle nose pliers, pinch the metal clip on the sliding swivel until it is tight enough to prevent the plastic tube from tangling. This is very important and also helps to align your camera later. Cut a 3 foot section of fishing line and feed it through the plastic tube of the slider. On the lower end, feed a bead up the line and tie on a 5 ounce cannonball sinker. On the upper end, feed a bead down the line and tie on a swivel as high as you want the camera to float up from the bottom. I usually do 18 inches or so, but in theory you should be able to do any length. This upper swivel is where you will tie your main line. Now that your camera rig is tied, grab a rod and reel combo, a rod holder, get your camera ready, and you can hit the water. I like to use 20 pound braided mainline with a 3 foot bumper of 30 pound mono. I like to use a double uni knot to attach my leaders. 99% of the time, I'm casting my camera by hand. At the end, we'll talk about some different options, but the simplest way is to use the lower portion of a short two piece rod. Stake your rod holder into the ground. Feed your main line through the guide and tie it to the upper swivel of the camera rig. Rest your rod in the rod holder and open the bale or loosen the drag. Gently toss your camera as far as you want to film. Close the bale or tighten the drag and reel in the slack, making sure the line is tight enough to stabilize the camera. When you're done filming, reel your camera back in quickly to stay above any snags. I've used all sorts of configurations for the main line. One of my favorites is just using a spool of line and a stake I made from an old broken fishing rod. It's definitely the most portable way to go. Another one I'm getting the hang of is using my rod stake with the reel attached upside down. It's nice because I can attach a camera to the top of the stake for another 
perspective, the most extreme version I've tried so far is actually casting the rig with my 10 foot heavy surf rod. When you're gunning your camera out that far, it's pretty nerve wracking. So if you want some assurance that you won't lose your camera, add a snap swivel to attach your weight and make sure you're using a strong line. Leave the snap open. That way, if your weight snags, you should be able to pull hard enough to bend the clip and release the weight. Then your camera will float to the surface and you can reel it in. In my opinion, these are pretty good rigs, but I'll keep on working on improvements and would love to hear if y'all have any ideas for how to make them better. I'm always open to feedback or to hear your story of how you like to do underwater filming. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to click subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>